Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spy here. Today we're playing the daily challenge for November 8th, 2020. The character of this island and the mod forest are insanity. Start with a random deck of 50 cards. Order, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the merchant. And Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith at rest sites. Uh, I see Vorpal with 1902. Very good score. I'm guessing with Hoarder and Insanity, it's just probably going to go uh, come down to just getting as many collector bonuses as possible. But let me sort A to Z right away and review the deck. So I already have a collector bonus for Caltrops. Actually, I guess any card I see here... Well, hang on. So I should probably flag the ones I already have a collector bonus on. So Caltrops, Cloak and Dagger. Um, yeah, those are the cards I don't want to pick up any new copies of. Prepared. That's kind of rare. Three collector bonuses out of 50. I think that doesn't usually happen, but all right. Okay, and then, yeah, basically I have to pick up every card, and ideally I would get a Mind Blast. So, I only see a two elite path, well, multiple two elite paths, so if I go on the general left, I can get one, two, three question marks at most. Yeah, there's this nice path with uh, four question marks, but then I won't be able to get um, two elite, so... Actually, no, I think I miscalculated, so yeah, four question marks if I go on the left. If I go on the right, it'll be also four. Hang on, are these the same paths? One, two, then this elite, and then on the left side, I'll get these two question marks. On the right side, I'll get these two. Um, all right, I guess in that case, let me look at... Um, hang on, is there anything I need to upgrade? Yeah, so I have two infinite blades, which I wouldn't mind getting upgraded, and maybe even the well-aid plants too. Uh, so in terms of rest sites, if I go on the left, I'll get two rest sites. If I go on the right, I'll just get one. Um, tough choice. Let me go on the right, though, because I think one rest site is enough, and I'll have another one before the boss, right? So I'd rather get another opportunity to get another card. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see. Predator kills... Okay, and then uh, I guess I can do well Plants. plans. Let me see what this gives me. Yeah, alright, let's do Dagger Throw and then I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill next turn. Okay. There it is. Alright, uh, set up Escape Plan Piercing Wheel. I don't think I remember seeing any of those, but you know what? In the Actually, I do have a p Escape Plan and it's a really good card, although against the Grum and Knob that might be a problem. Okay, there's my first set of curses as well as a bunch of gold. Okay, Cultist, let's do, um, well, Skewer just does more damage, right? Let me see what the escape plan gives me. Yeah, let's just do Skewer, why not? Okay. All right, six incoming, escape plan one and two, Master will stab, click slash, dagger throw, and uh, Cloak and Dagger is enough to kill. Mm -hmm. Skill potion, very nice. Blade dance, quick slash, Skewer. Let's take another quick slash, why not? I do have to worry a little bit about having more attacks in my deck rather than skills. Okay, 11 incoming. Um, defense might be a problem here. Oof. Not happy that I have a regret here. Uh, actually, I can get rid of it, right? Let's do acrobatics. Okay. Another escape plan. And then I could defend with the cloak and dagger. Yeah, let me do that. At least I don't take any damage that way. Okay. Not getting attacked here. Massive stabs. Double up on the Keltrops. And then Cloak and Dagger. Alright. Okay. And then 14 incoming. I can do... You know what? Let me just play safe and do dash and blur. Okay. He'll take 6 damage every time he attacks. So that should help. Dagger throw. I'm getting really lucky with the regret so far. Got a speed potion. Deflect, sneaky strike or reflex. Definitely not the sneaky strike. Deflect versus... Yeah, Reflex might be a little too much for copies of it. Deflect it would give me a collector bonus. Let's take it. Also, it's a useful card. Okay, so um, the Skewer is not enough to kill here, actually. So I kind of want to do Cloak and Dagger. And then uh, Skewer. This way I should be able to easily kill the backliner next turn if I have to. Okay, 9 incoming. Massive Stab does it. Actually, Dagger Throw does it too. All right, and then skewer and muscle stab. Yep, that's enough. Got another speed potion, die to die, piercing whale, or outmaneuver. I might be able to get some collector bonuses on rare cards, so I don't think I'll go for the popper modifier. So let's take the die to die, sure. Okay. All right, so here a die to die will be great. Uh, blur, sure. Prepared. 
Actually, I should probably play the Infinite Blades and then slice Quick Slash, and that's it. Maybe should have done the Cloak and Dagger instead of the Quick Slash, actually, because I have Blur, so would have been able to keep some leftover block for next turn. Oh, that's a bad hand there. Uh, uh, yeah, Piercing Well is good. And then I can do Quick Slash. Okay. My first damage from the Regret there. Mm -hmm, another 12. Uh, dagger Spray for sure. Shift kills. And then um, let me weaken and see what the prepared gives me. Yeah, skewer is fine. Okay. Taking a little bit more damage than expected, but it is fine. I guess that's a problem with the insanity deck, right? Too many cards. It's very hard to consistently draw something that you need. Ooh, Storm of Steel came in just at the perfect time there. Okay. And then uh, I can just kill this way. All right. Okay, Skewer Finisher or Sucker Punch. I well, once I have two of the Infinite Blades upgraded finisher might actually be pretty good. Mm, I don't think I have a single copy of it though. So maybe I'll take the other card instead. Yeah, I don't have a single finisher. Alright, let me take because I, I know I can get collector bonus on the others. Let's take the sucker punch. Okay, sentries. This might be tough. Ooh, die 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 is good. Good start. Alright, let's do escape plan first. Ooh, piercing well. Uh so I can do die die die. And then Sucker Punch Piercing Well to be able to fully defend, right? Yeah, 6-3, that's exactly enough. Okay. Alright, the next turn I do have a Skill Potion and Speed Potion, so I'm willing to use them if I can. Another da da die. Okay. Let's do that. And now before I do the Escape Plants, let me see. So I can kill one of them with the Dagger Throw. And then you want, let me drink the Speed Potion. Then do Escape Plan twice. Okay, got unlucky there, but I can do Deflect. Then maybe I'll just do Predator. Unless that... No, you want Dagger Star would allow me to also play a Skewer, so let's do that. Okay, I can actually just kill this guy. All right, yeah, that was very good use of that. Well, I got lucky with the card draw, right? Really, that's all it was. Um, Master will Stab and Cloak and Dagger for a kill. Awesome, all right, perfect this one. Very good, we got Akabika. Your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. Nice. Dash, Sucker Punch, Poison Stab. I didn't have enough dashes, right? So let me pick up a Collector Bonus on that. Also a very useful card. I decided to go on the right, right? Yes, yes. Wait, did I not have a single rest side? I didn't. All right, fine, fine. I mean, I'm doing fine so far. With Akabiko, this just became ridiculously powerful, right? Okay, Footwork, Concentrate, Bane. I don't think I have any of these. I Actually, no, I have a Bane, but I don't have enough Poison for it to be worth it. I think Footwork might be better. Let's take it. Okay. You got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Very nice. And hang on. Yeah, I have to go on the right to get two more question marks. Lagavulin. So I didn't get the Grillman Knob, which is good. Do I want to start with a 45 Skewer? Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, well, unless I want to wait for something better. Uh, tough choice. All right, let's try it. So 45 Skewer, then Endless Agonies. Okay. So if I hadn't wake, woken him up, I would have known now what I would draw. And uh, yeah, so far, hang on, I could... Ooh, dash plus deflect with the Speed Potion is enough. So let me drink that. Dash and deflect, okay. So if I hadn't woken him up, I would have had to wake him up this turn, and yeah, hard to say whether that would have helped. I really need an, a uh, some sort of weakness here because this is not going to be enough. Um, yeah, I don't think this is. I don't think there's anything I can do. Can I kill here somehow? No, I barely have damage either. Uh, all right, let's try to defend by taking the dodge and roll, seeing what the quick slash gives me. Uh, piercing well, hang on. Yeah, the best I can do with this, and that's sadly not enough. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame. Um, I don't think by waiting I would have been able to perfect those, so I don't think I really had a chance here, but still a shame. Okay. I do have double damage. Actually, hang on. I would like to get the pendant active for the um, opening hand with Akabiko against the slime, but let's get to first. Actually, this kills, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, took four damage there. We got Lantern, so I just come up with additional energy. A block potion, which is nice. And uh, yeah, I'll take a Dagger Spray. Especially with that could be the more I have, the better. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, any AoE here? Nope. All right. Uh, in that case, let's do Dash will kill the strongest. 
And then I can do um, another dash and kill you. All right. Okay, not a bad start. Maybe I should have killed these guys. That way I would have avoided being weakened. Okay, escape plan, backflip. All right, where are the AoE cards when you need them? Let me kill one of... Actually, yeah, let's just kill you. Mm -hmm. I'll take a little bit of damage, but that should be fine. Still have at least two more fights upcoming, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, infinite blades. Yeah, I'll take the infinite blades, sure. Okay. And then, okay, this is a surprise shop. Definitely a three copies of Backstab would be useful. And I guess the only defense in the opening hand might be a problem. Is there anything I want to bottle? Any uh, power? Let me sort by type. So attacks, skills. Okay, powers will be in the middle. Um, where is it? Okay. So any of these I need in my opening hand. The infinite blades will all get upgraded. Well, it plants is fine, but no, I don't think I'll take it, actually. I don't think I need anything urgently in my opening hand. Sort A to Z again. Actually, A to Z. There we go. Okay. So in that case, let's skip on the bottle tornado. I definitely want to take the ink bottle. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw one card. Medical kit is probably not necessary. I do have the gold. No, let me rather take a dex potion and... I mean, I should take all the cards here. Did I have enough? I think I had enough prepared, right? That was one of the things. Yeah, I do. So let's skip that. And I feel like I picked up a quick set of quick flashes. Yeah, I have enough of those too. Jack of all trades is fine. Do I want magnetism? You know what? The more the merrier. And uh, yeah, I guess I can do medical kit too. Unbelievable status cards can now be played. Whenever you play a status card, exhaust it. Okay. That was a good shop. And with Midas, I'm pretty much guaranteed to hopefully get enough gold for the next shop as well. All right. So let's do, yeah, backstab, double damage, backstab, another one. Okay. Wait, I have another fight after this, right? Yeah. All right. We got a weakness potion. Well, at this point, I have... Actually, I think I've collected most on all of them, right? Including the Dagger Spray. I guess in that case, let's take another copy of the Dagger Spray. Because, again, it is useful with the Akabiko. Alright, so here I have to be careful not to kill right away. Because I do want to get the Pen Nib upgraded. So let's do Backstab. Masterful Stab. Mm -hmm. And then Backstab again. And one more Backstab. And then... E hmm. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to play enough attacks. Yeah, very difficult. Especially if he only has... Alright, fine, fine. I guess it's only on 8, which is a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, acrobatics, yep, that'll give me a collector bonus for that. Oh, right, I can't upgrade. Mm -hmm. Alright, do I want to split him? Because I think I could. Let's do backstab and then double damage backstab. Actually, no, I should get him close to splitting, but not actually split. Let's see what the quick slash gives me. Yeah, I can double footwork and then backstab. And yeah, the next backstab would split, so let's not do that. Okay. That's a lot of footworks at this point. Uh, all right. I, hmm. Actually, maybe I'll do outmaneuver because that way next turn will be very powerful, hopefully. And then I can do one skewer. So let's do footwork and then a one energy skewer. Yep. Okay. Alright, so here, okay, I have a lot of energy, but this is not looking like the best hand there. Let's do quick slash. Oh, yeah, this is not not what I wanted, but fine, fine. 53 is an okay value to split. Alright, jack of all trades gives me violence, okay. And then I can probably keep a skewer for next turn? No, let's keep a dash for next turn. Okay. In case I get attacked. Alright, 16. Let's do... Um, oh, I got 16 block already. Okay, let's target this guy then. He'll split at 26, right? So I can do this safely and the quick slash 2. Okay, he's not going to split yet. And the next turn I have double damage. So let's just do the infinite blades and not play another attack. Kind of want to reserve that for next turn. Actually, the sucker punch is good. Mm-hmm. All right, backline is not attacking. Ooh, double damage, die to die. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then dagger spray. Slice shiv. Sucker punch. Okay, perfect. All right, perfected one lead and one boss. We got the fear push, which I don't think I'll need. And uh, um, all of these are fine. Unload will help me get rid of curses. Um, Storm of steel. 
Probably not super necessary. I think last life is probably the best thing here. And then, yeah, this will give me enough curses, right? Do I need to worry about relics? Uh, as long as I hit shops, I should be fine. Oof. Yeah, this might translate into more relics, which might be important. The curse key, I mean, I only need one more curse event. I already have three copies of regret, and that seems likely. Let me take the black star just for the score. So, elite drop initial relic on defeated. Uh, the other question is, would the extra energy allow me to perfect more fights? It might. It might. Let's take this. Yeah, let's take the curse key again. Energy shop of your turn. Whenever you open a non chest to obtain a curse. I really hope I'll be able to visit enough shops to get enough relics. Because so far, it's not looking great. All right, so yeah, two two lead paths on the general left side. I can do three, four, five, five question marks on the left. No, no, I miscalculated just four. And on the right side, I can do one, two, three question marks in a shop. Yeah, I guess I'll stick on the left for now. I calculated right, right? One, two, three, four. And this elite, no, actually. One, two, three, then this elite regular fight, then another question mark, and then another elite. Yeah. That way I'll avoid an extra rest side there. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, let's just do the skewer. Perfect. Alright, Sucker Punch, Noxious Fumes, Accuracy. I might have to take the Accuracy because I need it for a collector bonus, or... Actually, no, Noxious Fumes, I might need that too. Let's do that. Okay. Um, I mean... I don't have any strikes and defense. Is there anything I need to remove? You know what? Let me remove a curse because I only need five for the collector for the um, curses modifier, and I have I will get six once I pick up another curse, unless I transform one. I hadn't thought of that, or or duplicate one, I guess. Anyway, ten incoming. Let's do deflect, backstab, 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 sucker punch. Okay, and then acrobatics. Get rid of the regret, double damage, quick slash. Okay. And then Caltrops, Noxious Fumes, and going to take some damage after all. Mm -hmm. And then Gloss Knife and uh, Dagger Throw. Yeah, this is why it's actually kind of nice to have extra energy. Okay, Speed Push, which I don't think I'll take. Backflip, Dodge and Roll, or Calculated Gamble. Um, so I could get a Collectomus for Backflip or the Dodge and Roll, right? Mm, let's take the backflip. Now that I have extra energy, the card draw is going to be nice. I didn't want that speed potion. Okay. Oof. Um, yeah, duplication potion is good. Probably don't need the poison potion, though. Which of these do I want to get rid of? All right, fine. Let me drop the... Uh, uh, this is a tough choice. I need all of the potion for defense. Let's get rid of the dex potion and just take the duplication potion. I think I can safely skip the others. Wait, I'm going... Yeah, I'm going on the right path. Okay, so again, could do 75 damage. That is a lot. Actually, yeah, I can kill the backline with the backstabs too, right? Let's do it. Yeah, I'll miss out on damage from the die die die, but I think it's fine. Okay. Six incoming. Let's do. Wow, look at that. That's a very bad hand here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here I can do glass knife, escape plan. Uh, can I kill without dealing damage? Because I do have an elite after this. Yeah, let me just do Noxious Fumes and see if the Noxious Fumes alone will be enough. Basically, I would like to keep the Pendip at 9 if possible. Um, uh, might be challenging. Uh, might be very challenging, but I'm willing to take a little bit more damage to test this. Basically, I need a Catalyst or some other Poison card, which I don't think I have lots of options there. Burst, okay, let me see what this gives me first. All right, let's burst the backflip. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then acrobatics. All right. Okay, he's at six poison. Okay, I'm getting there. All right, let's do footwork, deflect, prepared to get rid of this, and then another backflip. And then he's dead next turn. Okay, so I think it's very nice to get double damage with Ekabiko. That should be very useful. He's dead right here, right? Mm -hmm. Especially for the elite fight. All right, dagger throw, sneaky strike on maneuver. I think I need a collector bonus for dagger throw. All right, so gremlin leader who is not attacking good. So yeah, this is exactly what I want to double damage with that Kibiko. Yeah, definitely dagger spray. That'll kill everybody or kill the minions at least. Okay, then the backstabs, deflect dagger throw. I probably don't need jack of all trades. Let's do dagger spray again. Okay. 
All right, he is attacking, unfortunately. Can I kill here? Let's see. So, 821. No. Even if I use the duplication potion, that's enough. If I throw the weakness potion with the block potion, that's still not enough. I mean, I can perfect if I use all of my potions, but do I want to? I don't have a choice. All right. So I have to throw the weakness potion. I'm bringing it down to 18, then drink the block potion, and then duplicate my only defensive card. With just the deflect. Yeah, use three potions. But uh, at least I'm perfecting. Okay. Did get a little unlucky with the attack pattern. Um, let's get something like Last Knife that should kill. Well, that together with a shiv and... Ugh. Ugh, come on. Um... All right, I'm gonna try again to keep the pendip. Although, hang on, I do have just a regular fight. I can kill him easily if I if I actually hang on. I can just do this: escape plan, distraction, off maneuver, escape plan again, and then backflip. Okay, good. That way, I can keep the pendip active for next turn. All right, we got pentograph at the start of the boss combat. Heal 25 HP as well as a liquid bronze, and I have enough acrobatics. No concentrate or blade dance, though, right? I wouldn't mind a Blade Dance. I don't think I need Concentrate just yet. I need way more card draw for that to be useful. Alright. So, double damage. I could be good Backstab. Let me see what I draw first. Uh, Dagger Spray. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Way better. Got a Strength Potion. Another set of Escape Plans. No, I think at this point I'll take the... I didn't pick up a Collective Bonus for Dodge and Roll, right? Yeah, let's pick that up first, and then I can do the eviscerate. Okay, all right, there's curse number two, as well as a, a pretty good relic. Warp Tunks at the start of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. Okay. And then here I got injury. Okay, well, now I'm getting too many curses. We got Ancient T Center whenever you enter rest sites, our next combat with two extra energy. Okay. Yeah, sadly, I could be because not active, and I don't have my weakness uh, potion anymore. So let's do. I could be go dagger spray. Yep. Mm -hmm. Escape plan. Backflip. Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do. Uh, unless I can draw something great. Nope. Yeah, one short. Uh, this is probably the best time to use the liquid bronze, though. Okay. Yeah, losing one HP here, sadly. 18. Um, double damage glass knife seems good. And then uh, backflip. Dodge and roll and cloak and dagger. Okay. Yeah, taking another one damage. 21. Oof. Yeah, that pain is going to make the massive stab pretty useless. Because I'm going to take a bunch of damage. Can I kill actually? Um. No, unless this gives me. No, that's fine. Okay. I'll be able to kill next turn. It's okay. Mm hmm. All right, we got Molden Egg. Whenever you add an, an attack into your deck, upgrade it. Nice. And, I mean, I already have enough Dagger Sprays. Let's take the Burst here. Okay. And then here I have to rest anyway. Which is actually maybe not a bad idea. Wait, did I? Hang on. I thought two Elites, right? Yeah, for a second I thought I'm taking the wrong path there. 21. Uh, Yeah, Dash is... Oh, hang on. This is going to be enough to kill. All right. Noxious Fiend's Woodwork or Piercing Whale... I feel like I need a collective bonus or a piercing well. Uh, did I have enough footworks? I did not. But yeah, let me take piercing well. I think that's going to be a little more important. Heal again. Okay. All right, Centurion and Mystic. Um, I do wonder if I should try to deal more than 100 damage with. No, actually, I can't, right? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's do backstab, escape plan, glass knife. Would have been probably better. And then backstab again, and I could have definitely killed if I played the, um, the, um, uh, what do you call it? Daggers, uh, not dagger spray, what's the card I played? Glass knife. If I, if I played that better and used the, uh, double damage, I would have been definitely able to kill the frontliner, which is fine. I mean, I'm going to heal back after this fight anyway, but, you yeah, know, could have done it slightly better. Okay. All right, eight incoming. Um, let's do the Bane. Shiv, shiv, sucker punch, dagger throw. Okay. 
Oh, shouldn't have wasted double damage there. That was actually a mistake. That was that was actually a serious mistake. Got the collector bonus on footwork here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss uh, miss up or miss a bunch of extra damage on this guy. All right, 16 incoming right off the bat. Not much I can do here. Let's see what these key plan gives me first. Yeah, dash might not be a bad idea. Let's do dash. Okay. Then the backstabs. Da da da. Acrobatics. Okay. Probably another acrobatics. Yeah, I will need to play that piercing well, huh? Let's do it. Okay. And then, um, you know what? I'm not going to play anything because I want to keep the ink bottle for next turn. Yeah. All right, upgraded magnetism. This might not be a bad idea. Let's do magnetism, footwork, well laid plants, and then sucker punch, and I'll keep the piercing well for next turn. 16. Um, let's see what this gives me. Mind plus for 108 damage. Can I deal double damage here? I want to be a little greedier. Well, hang on. I have to actually worry about defense as well. So let's see. Panacea. Um... I can't kill, right? Even if I do double damage. Let's do dagger throw. Oof. Has to be acrobatics, and I'm a little worried now. Okay, I can burst the piercing well. That would actually be 16, right? But then I can't play the mind blast. If I want to perfect, I have to do this. Yeah, it's a shame. Okay. And then prepared... Yeah, missing out on a lot of damage there. All right. Oh, I should have kept the Mind Blast. What am I doing? I forgot I had the Welly Plants out. Oh, that's actually a mistake. Well, I'm going to keep playing and see if I can perfect with that mistake, but that's definitely something I could have done a little better. Uh, you know what? Let me do Mayhem. Yeah, the Silent doesn't have too many cards that could mess it up for me. Um, okay. Let me keep the uh, Piercing Well or Dash. Let's do Dash. Nice block. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's not attacking, that's good. Cloak and Dagger, Noxious Fumes is nice. Finesse, and then I kind of want to burst the Blade Dance. Not sure why. Uh, double damage, Dagger Throw, sure. Okay, well, it plants. No, let me actually burst the um, Blade Dance. Okay. Alright. And then again, I'll keep the dash for later. Mm -hmm. 21. There's an apotheosis. That's nice. Um, defense is going to be a problem, though, right? Actually, 17. Yeah, I need to play the dash, uh, which will be 17 plus another 11, right? Yeah, I think that should be enough. So let's do apotheosis, dash, and then deflect. I'll do the skewer just to get the um, pendip upgraded. All right. So then let's keep the quick slash for next turn. Okay, 27. Ooh, all right. Use the double damage, luckily, on something that wasn't completely useless. Okay, so dramatic entrance just to get rid of it. Shiv and quick slash. Okay, I am not able to perfect, right? Yeah, so I think I'm going to reload just because I really messed up with that Mind Blast. I am not sure if I'll be able to get that Mind Blast again, though, because I got it from uh, the Jack of All Trades, I think. So, but let's try again, yeah, because I think I think I definitely missed, missed, missed this up. Let's do Escape Plan. Um, wait, did I draw the dash before? I, I don't remember. I think I might have done the Acrobatics, right? Yeah. And then I had to play another Acrobatics... Okay, let me do some of the back steps first. Another acrobatics. And yeah, I needed the piercing well. There we go. So dash piercing well to be fully defended. Okay, and then die to die and caltrops. I am not sure if that's what I played, but you know, let's stick with this. Okay, and then here, yeah, Wally plants footwork. Um, deflect sucker punch. And then keep the piercing well. Alright. 16. Okay, so yeah, here I think I needed to burst that piercing well, right? Let's do jack. Oh, I did not get a mind blast. How did I get a mind blast before? I thought I did from the. Uh, oh, whatever. 
Uh, let's get her of did. Let's do acrobatics. Okay. And then, yeah, burst the piercing well. All right. Master will stab. Prepared. And then hang on to the piercing well. Yeah, so I, I must have played something slightly differently. I didn't get a mind blast, which is fine, I guess. I don't need it anyway. All right, let's do dash, caltrops, and backflip. And I'll wait for next turn. Mm -hmm. All right, not getting attacked here. That's good. Do I want to burst the jack of all trades? It is upgraded. Let's do it. Okay. There is a mind blast. Okay. And now it's dealing 180 damage. Good. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then do I want to do another well laid plants? I'm not sure if I need to. Let's instead do dagger throw? No, fine, let's do it. Why not? Okay. And then I'll keep the piercing well and the dagger throw for next turn. Okay. All right, so now he's transforming. Um, let's see, escape plan, deflect, glass knife. Okay, dagger throw. And then probably just do skewer. No, let me do quick slash first. Okay, and I'll do skewer and I'll keep the piercing well and blur for next turn. This might be rough. Okay, quite a bit of incoming. Um, let's do piercing well first. Okay, so it's down to 24. Yeah, it doesn't look... No, wait, do I have exactly enough? I do have exactly enough, okay. Um, do I want to do another Caltrops? That's probably too much. Let's instead do Shiv and Die, Die, Die. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I guess I can keep uh, these two. Mm -hmm. Not getting attacked, that's good. Let's do Dagger Spray 1. Quick slash dagger spray two, and then double damage. Uh, oh, it's not as much as I thought, but let's do another dagger spray. Okay, I'll keep these two. Can I deal forty-five damage? It's definitely doable. Twenty-four incoming finesse. Prepared gives me. Oh, don't want this and don't want this. Okay, this gives me an escape plan. Ended up with a pain after all. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Deflect. Uh, weakness is not going to cut it, right? Let me see what the dagger throw gives me. That's my only hope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. So I'm pretty sure I could have been able... I would have been able to perfect this one if I just gotten better draws. Or, or well, if I guess if I could predict what I was going to... Uh, what was going to come up, I would have been able to perfect, but... That's obviously not possible. All right, let's double up in the backflip for some block. Okay, slice. Do I want dash? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then for next turn, I'll probably keep the attack because I'm very close to killing here. Yeah, I do wonder if I had time. Yeah, I could be going Penda better in this fight if that would have helped because I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Yeah. All right. Okay, we got a duplication potion, a bunch of gold, and yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to go for rare cards. Uh, let's seek the aftermatch, and now I just have to figure out a way to upgrade it. Um, so Astrolabe is interesting. Yeah, I think I should take it. Up and pick up, upgrade three, uh, upgrade three cards, and then or transform three cards, and then upgrade them. And I will transform the ones that I have tons of copies of, which I think is is one card. Yeah, dagger spray. I have uh, seven, so I can probably just transform three dagger sprays. Now, there is an option to transform a curse, but I'm... Oh, never mind. I have enough curses, right? Dagger Spray 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Cloak and Nagger, Corpse Explosion, and Finisher. I'm actually very happy with all of those. Mostly the Corpse Explosion. That should help against... Well, not the Awakened one, but in general it should help. Okay. 1, 2. Again, only 2 lead paths. So, looks like if I had gotten the Black Star, I would have only gotten an extra 2... Re no, 4 relics, right? Because I would have fought four more or four elites total after that point oh no never mind there's a three elite path so six five five elites uh, all right so on the right it'll give me two question marks then the elites and then another three no shop or instead i can skip a question mark go for a shop i think i'll do that just because i have a lot of gold 
All right, sorry about that. Okay, so let's start with the after image and then do I want to do double damage dash? Yeah, let's do the backstab first. Then double damage dash. Okay. And then I think I can kill this guy, right? With the backstabs. Or with the one energy skewer. Let's see what this gives. Or with dramatic entrance, that might be better. Okay. And then backstab one, backstab two, and skewer. Okay. Alright, another dash. Almost kills this guy. Quick slash. Okay, they're both almost dead. Let's kill this guy for sure. Mm -hmm. Just need a little bit extra damage. Oh, and I can get the uh, pendip upgraded. Very good. Let's just do a shiv here. Okay. All right, we've got a colorless potion. Oh, I already have enough dagger sprays. And sucker punches. Do I take a sneaky strike? Let me just make sure I have enough sucker punches. Yeah. Fine, I guess sneaky strike it is. Okay. All right, orb walker. Double damage, I could be good backstab. All right. Jack of all trades gives me dramatic entrance. More backstabs. Piercing rail, infinite blades. Well, I have a lot. Ooh, should have played that. I die. Forgot about that. Oh well. Um, hang on. When is my first elite? I still have another fight after this, so there's no huge rush. Okay. Dagger throw, heal hook, or quick slash. I think I have enough of these, and I don't have a single heal hook, right? Um, well, I guess it doesn't super. It doesn't matter super much, but I do want to know. Um, Ghi. Oh yeah, no, I don't have any extra ones, so this is the first set I picked up. All right, yeah, I can probably afford everything here. Dead Branch, whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card into your hand. Very interesting. Clockwork Souvenir, Sarge come with one artifact. And then Bottle Flame, I'll pick up to an attack, Sarge come with this attack in your hand. Let me first buy everything else. Only Plants, Odd Maneuver, Blade Dance, Slice and Quick Slash. Panacea is fine, and Violence is fine too. Uh, sure, let me see. What attack would I want in my opening hand? Maybe the Finishers, because I have three back steps at least that might not be a bad idea or something to use my akibiko so maybe the skewer no but that's not going to help against the final boss because he will attack me so i need some block in the first turn i think finisher is fine yeah it's at least 24 damage because i have all the back steps right and then i okay i was going to actually consider the potions but i can't afford them anyway maybe i should have picked up an aoe card yeah, it's fine. All right, uh, let's do the backstab one. Okay, then dash. All right, and then double damage backstab you. Okay, after which is great. Yeah, actually, the um, dead wrench might help me quite a bit. Let's do another backstab, kill you with a slice, then blade dance, shiv, shiv, and then finisher for a bunch of damage. I can keep going by doing this and playing the Crippled Cloud, okay? Yeah, that was a very good turn. Got very lucky with the... Um... Wait, hang on. I have an Elite after this, right? Possibly. So let me try to get the Pendip upgraded, which means I have to play a bunch of attacks. Oof, that might be tough. All right, Endless Agony 1, Endless Agony 2. Can I kill somehow? Uh, hang on, I can do... Wait, wait. Yeah, I can do Magnetism twice and then play Zero Energy uh, Skewers. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. Quick Slash, Deflect, or Endless Agony. I think I need a Collector Bonus on the Endless Agony. Let's take that. Oh, this is a regular fight. All right, fine. Can I use my... Well, ideally I would bring the uh, Pendant back to 9 again, but that might be a little hard to do. Uh, let's do the bullet time, sure. Okay. And then bullet plants, quick slash. And let's, hang on, no, let me keep the endless agonies for later. Let's do corpse explosion. Actually, I should be able to kill with the finisher, right? If I play enough attacks. Uh, I guess I have two finishers here. All right. Let's do the endless agonies. Okay. And then 36 and then, uh, 56. I think that should be enough. That might not be. Um, let's do deflect. I can't do choke. Uh, you know what? I think I might just take the... Uh, this is a lot of damage to waste, though. Let me see what it gives me. Okay. 21. I mean, maybe it's fine. 
Let me see what the Colorless Potion gives me. Flash of Steel Master of Strategy, sure. Okay, so I think I'll just do Footwork and sneaky uh, and uh, Cloak and Dagger here. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'll keep the Mind Blast, actually. Yeah, that should kill next turn. And uh, I just want to play two more attacks. Or, well, one more attack and then the Mind Blast. So something like one shift and then the Mind Blast, okay? I didn't need the curse from this fight for once. Eviscerate, Lex Sweep, or Deadly Poison. Lex Sweep is great, but for... Actually, in terms of collector bonus, I don't have any of those, right? So in that case, let's take the Lex Sweep, sure. All right, try and head. So before I play the Ekabiko double damage card, let me first play the skills. So this is 11. Let's do acrobatics first. Okay. I'm not sure if I need the violence, but it wouldn't hurt. So then footwork, dodge and roll. Eh, it's still not enough. I have to do cloak and dagger, right? So six, four is 10 plus the footwork is enough. So let's get rid of the piercing well. And then do footwork, cloak and dagger and dodge and roll. Okay. And then backstab, 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 shiv, slice, blade dance. No, uh, I actually need the finisher here. Okay. Eh, not bad, 75 damage. Could have been more, but could also be less. Another 13. Well, this is not good. Um, I don't have any block. Do I have anything that exhausts? No. Yeah, not good at all. I don't see what I could do here. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. So I'll do Sucker Punch. I'll play the Volley Plants. But uh, yeah, ultimately I have a bunch of damage I can't defend fully against. Just got unlucky with the draw. That's what happens when your deck is 175 cards large. All right, let's do... Do I want to skip this? No, I shouldn't skip. Let's do Panacea. Unload is nice. Uh, let me do Footwork, Blade Dance, and Cloak and Dagger. No, let me do Unload. No, it doesn't matter. It's going to play the Sneaky Strike for free, but I don't think it's, it makes a big difference there. Okay. Nice the double damage. And, uh, yep. I'll think I'll keep a glass knife for next turn. And a deadly poison, why not? Mm -hmm. Alright, still not getting attacked. Good. Let's do infinite blades. Leg sweep. And deadly poison. Yeah, this is not looking super great. Still have a lot of damage to do. Okay, 22 incoming. Alright, there's an after image. That, that is a little bit of a help. And then dagger, uh, well, blade dance first. Okay, shift, shift, dagger throw. All right, uh, the concentrate is actually pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I'm already taking, I have already taken damage, so I'm not gonna worry too much about perfecting, and it uh, doesn't look like I can. Uh, let's get rid of these. And then um, I guess I can do out maneuver and glass knife. Okay. Mm hmm. Alright, 26. It's getting harder. Escape plan. Riddle with Holds might actually not be a bad idea. Flechette is surprisingly useless here. Let's do escape plan. Alright. Blur is not bad. And then piercing. Okay, so that way I'm fully defended and we can focus on attacks. So, yeah, I think I'll do quick slash. Definitely want to do the Riddle with Holds in the end, right? So, Cloak and Dagger, Shiv, and then Rudal with Holds, double damage. Okay, 55, not bad. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, for next turn, I'll keep, uh, I guess, Bane and all attack. Yep, ideally, I would get dependent back to 9, although that seems very difficult. I guess I just have to play a bunch of small attacks, right? So, after image, Shiv, late dance. Now, I'm afraid even the small attacks will kill. And then, um,. Let me see. If I don't, if I can't defend, I also don't want to take extra damage. Let's do Bane, Violence, and then just kill with the all out attack. Well, I guess the poison would have killed too. All right, got Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. And I mean, at this point, I have to look at collector bonuses. So, Ordinary Slice and Concentrate. Oh, it looks like I have collector bonus for these two, but not a single Concentrate. So, let's take it now. And then I have to move on to the left, right? Okay. All right, resting here. Mm -hmm. Nemesis. 
So this will be a little bit luck dependent. Let's definitely double up on the dagger spray, then backstab, backstab, backstab. So far, I'm actually very happy that the um, finisher is in my opening hand because I am using it a lot. Well, I guess I can use it a lot. So 64 damage, not bad. With the strength potion, I'll be um, 80 damage, right? Maybe I'll do that. And no, actually, I have a skewer after this too, right? Yep. And then it eh, gets me close. Okay. Seven damage seems very doable. Well, I guess it depends on the card draw. But yeah, actually, I also have Leg Sweep. Let's do Footwork first, then Leg Sweep. Okay. And then Dagger Spray. All right. And here I... Oof. Doesn't look like I'll be able to get the pendant upgraded because, yeah, I'm going to kill him. That's fine. We got Omori, negate the next two curse you obtain. I'll take it, sure. And then Cloak and Dagger, Sneaky Strike, Outmaneuver. I think I had enough Cloak and Daggers and enough Outmaneuvers. So a collector bonus for Sneaky Strike it is. Okay. All right, here I got Whetstone. I'm going to pick up okay, two random attacks. That's a Dash and Dagger throw upgraded. Okay. All right, so yeah, I think again, this will be a pretty big finisher. Let's kill you and then double damage you. All right. Okay, backstab, endless agonies, dagger throw. And then I'm not sure if I want to do eviscerate. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. And then finisher for 56 and another 64. I'm not sure why I'm holding on to the strength potion. This might have been the best time to use it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck as well as an essence of steel. And um, I already have this. I don't know how many chokes I have. None? Yeah, I don't have any chokes. So yeah, I guess it's not too late to try to go for a collector bonus. Sure. Still have a bunch of question marks coming up. Some of them could be a shop, who knows? All right, so pain again in my opening hand. Let's do crippling cloud backstab. Mm -hmm. And then another backstab. Blur is good. Okay. And then finisher. Hang on, let me do one more backstab. And then finisher. Okay. And Skewer. Yeah, that should be enough to get the attacking forces off the field. And then this guy I'm fully defending against. Okay, Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, the only problem is going to be the Spiker. So let me see if I can get a better attack. I cannot. Okay, so let's do this. Let me kill the Backliner first of all safely. Mm-hmm. Die, die, die is pretty good. Okay. And uh, I can do... Well, I guess might as well play these. Okay. All right, seven incoming. Um, yeah, defense is going to be a problem here. Unless I want to take some damage, which I'd like to avoid. But I'm going to take seven damage anyway. Yeah, fine. Let's avoid it. Okay. Not a big deal because I do have a bunch of rest sides coming up. But yeah, this will kill. Okay. All right, we got a skill potion, which I don't think I'll take, and Flechette's Concentrator, Sucker Punch. I know I just picked up a Concentrate, so the question is how many Flechettes do we have? Um, I don't see any. Okay, let, let's get the uh, Collector Bonus for Concentrate first. Mm -hmm. Oof. Uh, I guess I'm okay losing all eight plants. I don't think I had a... Yeah, losing one won't get rid of the Collector Bonus. And here, yeah, let's see if I can get a Mind Blast. Nope, but Panic Button is pretty good. Uh, probably no either. And uh, yeah, not a big fan of any. Let's take Panacea here. I think I'll take the Panic Button. And um, Violence is pretty good here. Okay. Alright, no shops, but I can upgrade all my cards. That would be hilarious. Um... Ooh, but then I can't heal and I'll only have very little HP to deal with. Tough choice, tough choice. I think just for the fun, I think I'll upgrade all cards. Yeah, sure. Should make my uh, opening hand very interesting. Okay. Blade Dance flying the Endless Agony. Last opportunity for collector bonuses. Um, already have enough Blade Dances. How many flying knees? 
Uh, oh, and, and I have enough endless agonies. Uh, wait, where's the flying knee? Did I? I thought I saw it. Well, I guess I'm taking it. I already have collectibles for the other. Okay, so... Yeah, I need to play the after midges. Actually, probably all three. One, two, three. So I'll give him a lot of strength, but I think overall it's worth it. Probably... Do I want to play the blade, uh, infinite um, blades? Because that'll give me... Hang on. Did I need to duplicate something? Probably not. Probably not. Hopefully not. Let's drink this. Let's drink this. Okay. So let's do backstab. Oh, blur is actually really good timing. And then... Oh, that's it. Okay. Let's do... Hang on. So 23, I have 10 right now, so I need to double up on the... No, wait. Or, hang on, I have 10 right now, so I need to play at least 5 cards, which I could not. So I don't need to double up on the blur, though. Oh, but I would like to play more infinite blades. Okay, let me duplicate the blur. Mm -hmm. And then another backstab. Dash is probably not necessary. I think I'll do... One infinite blades, two, and three. I think that's enough. Okay. Give him six strength already. I need a piercing well and a welly plant, ideally. Alright, so escape plan. Okay. So shiv, shiv, shiv. Another escape plan, dagger spray. Okay, backstab. Oh, should have played the course of children first, but I don't think that makes a huge difference. Let's do... Do I want to get Nox... No, no, it's a power. Right, let's not do that. Let's just do Calculate Gamma, sure. Okay. I kind of want to do the well Plants. Yeah, let's do that. Panacea gives me a Malace. That's a good start. Actually, I can burst a Malace too, right? Is that the same effect? That might be the same effect. Okay, let's just do Malace then. All right. And then for next turn, I'll definitely keep the burst and... Um, yeah, I'm not... Let's take the skewer, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... 38. Uh, let's do the Endless Agonies. Okay, no poison on the enemy yet, right? So I can... Oh, uh, definitely heal hook. Okay. And probably don't need the dash, right? I'm already fully defended, so let's get rid of these shivs. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a piercing well. I definitely want to keep that until the transformation. So let's just do let's just do a skewer here. Mm -hmm. All right, so piercing well and burst. Definitely want to keep that. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five. Dash. Shiv. 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 Okay. Slice blade dance. And then double damage glass knife. Okay. Get rid of a bunch of these. Oh, only two. Um, let me get rid of these two. I don't think I'll need them. And then here, let's do quick slash. And that's it. Okay. I am able to get a good amount of block, which is nice. All right. So here I could double up on the corpse explosion. That'll be 18 and then nine tuple that. Yeah, wait, I won't have enough energy for that, though. That's a problem. And I can't burst a piercing one because then I can't guarantee it. Oh, hang on. Can I do it without... Hang if I do Corpse Explosion, then Catalyst. No, it's not enough. It's just 27 poison. Can I just defend here? That's also an option. Let's triple up on the Shiv. Masterful Stab and then Cloak and Dagger. What am I thinking about? 44 each uh, block. I can come up with that easily myself. Mm -hmm. And Or I can just do a malaise here. Yeah, let's just do a malaise. 8, 4, 32. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. And then here, yeah, again, I have to keep the personal on burst, I think. Mm hmm. 16. I'm not discarding anything. Let's play these shivs. Okay. Then, uh, flechettes is a... No, let me p do piercing well now. Alright. And then I'll do flechettes. 
Okay. Is there anything I want to nightmare for next turn? Let's see what this gives me. Well, Apotheos is pretty useless. Uh, let me actually get rid of these two. Three? Was that not upgraded? Oh, okay. Oh, I must have gotten the concentrate from a dead branch, right? Okay, so I can't play any of the sneaky strikes. And uh, I can't really do anything, but I guess I'll nightmare, what, Sucker Punch? Sure. Okay. I think I'll... I don't have any good block cards, right? Let's take the dagger throw just for the card draw. Potential card draw. Alright, 40 incoming. Yeah, barely any good skills here, right? Let's play these shivs. Okay, Sucker Punch. Dagger throw. Mm-hmm. I have... I'm up to 19. I could burst the dodge and roll. That'll be another 12... 27. Yeah, that would be enough. Okay. Alright. And then here, let's keep the Sucker Punch and Eviscerate. Sure. Might be a nice way to play it still. Okay, 13. Alright, so Heal Hook, Shiv, and then Double Damage Skewer. I am fully defended. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then let's see what the Panacea gives me. Endless Agony, okay. I kind of wanted to free up my hand so I can play Jack of all traits. Alright, Pan Panache is good. And that's it, okay. For next turn, let me take the... Well, yeah, I mean, Bullet Time wouldn't hurt. And Acrobatics. Okay. Mm -hmm. 30. Alright, so let's do bullet time at the end. Let me get rid of these shivs. Mm -hmm. Escape plan. Okay, so then I think I have to do acrobatics. And then I have to do bullet time. Okay. Alright, Wally plans. Play everything else pretty much. Dagger throne. Noxious fumes. Footwork. Sure. And then Bane, Cloak and Dagger, and Backflip. Too bad I can't do the Sneaky Strike, okay. I'll hang on to the Deflex for next turn, actually. Okay, another 30. Triple up on the Shivs. Okay, so concentrate this guy out, and probably don't need Noxious Fumes. I feel like I'm close to killing... Okay. Deflect Blade Dance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should be fully defended here. And yeah, there it is. Okay, it was a tough run. I wasn't able to perfect as much as I wanted, but yeah, mostly Act 2 I think was tough. 1845, that's actually a pretty good score. Probably only thanks to the 26 collector bonuses. That's actually pretty huge. Got Curses, 4 out of the 7 elites perfected and 2 out of the 3 bosses. Missed the second act boss, although I'm pretty sure it would be doable. I'm not sure when I got overkill. Must have been against a giant head fight, maybe, or maybe with poison. And then in Sigupedian, obviously, it was almost 200 cards. Uh, no, this was an interesting run. Just, um, yeah, definitely could have been 100 points higher if I perfected that second act boss. Oh, look at that. Not, not even top 20. 25th right now. So 1845. Yeah, so if I, for example, had Perfect the Last Boss, that would be 1945, which would have put me in 10th place, but even that would not have been enough, and obviously I didn't perfect that one, right? So, can't complain too much. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.